Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each personal month forecast for June 2023. Before you listen to your personal month forecast, make sure that you check the calculation because it is different from calculating the life path number. So you want to make sure you're listening to the right one. Now, this of course is a general forecast. If you want to get more specific and look at your own personal numerology and your own personal forecast, go ahead and book some time with me. I would love to take a look and to work with you. My information is in the description box below. All right, let's take a deep dive. If June is a personal month two for you, then this could bring into focus uh, things that need to come into balance or harmony. Uh, this could have to do with relationships. This could have to do with your holistic health. So anything that feels out of balance, out of alignment could be, um, you could see some shifts, some transformations take place there this month or some opportunities for that, right? Um, this can bring new people into your life, new relationships, new soul contracts. Uh, this is a great time to meet new friends, meet uh, new colleagues. Again, think of the energy of relating, um, being vulnerable with others, sharing with others, mending connections that need to be mended and releasing connections that are no longer serving, right? So again, think of the energy of balance. This is also a great month for sort of becoming the observer, not getting too emotionally sort of attached or immersed into a situation, but allowing yourself to become, again, the observer, stand back, take a eagle's point, point of view um, of the situation, see where the disconnect is, and, and then work towards making the connection, right? So again, with two energy, it can be really uh, emotional energy. It can be very um, sensitive energy. And so when it's too immersed in the situation, it's only going to see one side. It's only going to, um, it's not going to be able to come up with a solution necessarily because it's too immersed. So if there's any relationship or any situation where you are just too in it, then this is going to be a great month to find a way to see it through a different lens, through a broader lens, stand back, really look at the situation, look at all sides of the situation before you make a decision. Um, again, being able to do that will allow you to see where the disconnect is happening and then you can work with the others to come to some kind of solution, right? This can be a very solution focused energy. Uh, and I would say to do that with any situation or relationship that has been sort of more difficult or challenging or that you feel you're just not getting anywhere with. Um, it could be that that relationship needs to close out and be released, but it could be that a different uh, vantage point, a different way of looking at things and being a little less biased perhaps could help to mend that situation and to make it uh, more beneficial for everyone involved. This is also a great time for um, coming together and collaborating with others, seeing eye to eye. Um, this can be a very healing energy though. So again, if there's any kind of relationship or situation that's been, there's been some friction, this is a great energy for bringing it back into balance um, with with, poten with hopefully being as unbiased as possible, right? So uh, with two energy, it's sort of the diplomat energy, right? So it's not about debating. It's not about proving yourself or proving a point. It's more about communication. With communication, we can come together. We can see other sides of the, the coin. We can understand, right? So that's really what this month is potentially about for you. Uh, collectively, we have the energy of the 13-4. So there is this sort of bigger energy of transformation, of change, of shifts, of looking at the foundation and fixing wherever there's fault lines. So for you all, that's really going to be concentrated around the areas of relationships and relating, or again, bringing harmony where there's disharmony or balance where there's imbalance. And that can, of course, be um, with your holistic health as well. Now, June 3rd, we have a full moon. And for you all, you're going to be working with the energy of the nine. So 
this energy really does sort of force us to take in uh, the again the bigger picture, but to really focus on um, how our contributions, how our actions serve the whole, right, or or affect the whole. So if we are looking to gain something or do something or achieve something. This nine energy is really asking us, how does that uh, achievement not only serve self, but serve others? Uh, So the nine energy is really going to put pressure on anywhere uh, that we could do better in that situation, right? Where we could um, take into account others in the situation. So let's use, for example, if it's a work project, Um, If you're trying to take the lead on it and you're not taking other people's experience or um, advice or wisdom into consideration, uh, you're going, you're not going to have the best product that you could have, right? And so the nine energy sort of pushes us to work with others, work uh, in a way that serves the greater good, right? So you could see those themes come up. It's also a full moon. And so the fact that you've got nine energy around a full moon says that there's probably going to be something coming to closure, completion. It doesn't have to be dramatic. It can simply be that there's something that you're tying up to loose ends now and you are like sort of wiping your hands of it. You're done. Um, So it could be a project that you've been working on and you're just turning it over now. It's complete and uh, you're creating space for the next thing, right? So you could see some things come to completion at this time. It could also be that there are uh, things that need to fall away to create space for new things to come in. And so it could be that relationships are falling away. Things that don't serve us any longer could be falling away. And so with nine energy, the best uh, course of action is to sort of let it fall away, let it come to completion, let it close out as organically and naturally as possible without trying to fight it. Um, Because sometimes when those let's just use relationships. When those soul contracts are complete, you can almost feel the completion, right? You can feel that it's done. And so if you're trying to force uh, something to continue, that's really not meant to continue, it just becomes more challenging and more challenging and more challenging. So this is not a time to force things to stay that are meant to fall away. It's a time for release and allowing to create space for the next thing to come in. Uh, You could also see your dreams be very vivid around this time. So pay attention to any deeper uh, insights, any big revelations that come in for you around this time. They could be significant. Now, around June 18th, we have a new moon. And this new moon, you all are going to be working with the energy of the six. So we have another sort of um, concentrated energy around relationships. So around this new moon, you could see, again, new relationships come in. These are those deeper, uh, more um, heart-centered relationships. So this isn't about necessarily uh, colleagues or um, acquaintances. These are like romantic partners, family, friends. So you could see some very like very deep, meaningful connections be formed around this time. Um, So be open to whoever it is that you meet now because they could be someone who is here to stay for quite some time. You could also see uh, changes come in around the home around this time. Uh, People move in, people move out, getting a new pet. Um, Something coming up with your pet could happen around with six energy, uh, especially with this... um, the two energy as well as the overarching energy of the 13 four. So you could see some changes around the home, uh, significant changes around the home could come in. The other thing I would say is, um, this is a great time for new beginnings around the home. So great time to buy or sell or move locations or change communities. Um, or make changes with your home, right? You might just decide to do an overhaul and do spring cleaning and get new furniture or paint the walls or something like that just to create a different energy or a different vibration within the home. That's very possible as well. So if you're feeling it, go for it. Um, The other thing I would say about the six energy coming in around a new moon is you could see some new, uh, some changes around finances with the home. Um, You could also see things come to the surface that need to be dealt with that we've been trying to avoid. Six energy is the vibration of love. So anything that's not at that vibration that's um, causing disharmony 
will be brought to the surface to be dealt with, which actually works really, really beautiful with the two personal cycle that you're moving through. So I do think that this could be a month for releasing, for mending, for bringing things into balance and for some new starts, right? Especially in the, the realm of relationships and how we relate to others. So big month ahead for you all, twos. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.